Hey y'all, welcome back to Squatch TV. On this episode, my daughter Em and I are doing Kroom Kaka for the first time. So it's been a, uh, it's been a kind of a dream now for a few years. I wanted to find an old Kroom Kaka iron and make these things. So uh, just so you know the recipe, we pulled the recipe off the internet. Just, just to get this first batch under our belts. And the, the, the ingredients are a half a cup of unsalted butter, one cup sugar, two eggs, one cup of milk, one and a half cups all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then what you do is you cream together the butter and the sugar in the bowl Add the eggs one at a time and mix well. Pour in the milk, flour, vanilla, and mix well. And then it's about, uh, we, I think we figured out it was, uh, it's gonna be a little over a teaspoon per uh, thing, but I'll show you when we get to the stove there, okay? So uh, we'll get this set up and we'll get over on the stove and that's where you'll see us next. Okay, so here's where we go. We got about a medium heat there and you take a little bit of spray, spray it once there, spray it once there. It's probably good for four or five of these. And then you take your deal, right? Put it down there. Squeeze just a little bit, not too hard. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, there's that, and then I throw it down there, and then M takes it, puts it on that roll, Twists it around. How long do you hold it? About five seconds? Yeah, maybe more just Four, to be sure it's five, really stuck. Six, seven. Yeah, probably ten. Okay. And then bam, there you go. So that was kind of a dark one because I was counting slow. But that's kind of what you end up with, right? And if you look at them, uh, that's what you end up with. And they're crispy like that crispy. See, Em's gonna be pissed because I ruined one, but I wanted you to see how crispy it is. And then we'll show you the filling process here next. Okay, y'all, so we got these made up. It made up about 55 to 60 with one batch. And obviously, you know, being the first time we've done it, we got some dark ones and we had a little bit of trouble, but we also made a couple of like cannoli rounds, right? Just using, I used a pineapple slicer, and then we used a couple of bowls to make a couple of cookie bowls, right? Kind of neat. And then we made a couple of flat ones. So they're flat cookies. Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Okay, so we'll show you the, we got a few different fillings to put in here, and we'll show you how we do that here next. Okay, y'all, so we got all of them. We got all our, our uh, what would you call it? All of our stovetop work done. And so then we went and mixed up some uh, filling. What this is, is apple pie filling. I just bought a couple of cans of apple pie filling. So we'll have that to put in there. I think what a lot of people usually do is, this is what, Scandinavian, or what else is it? It's in? either Scandinavian or Norwegian. Scandinavian or Norwegian. Uh, and what people usually do, I think, from what we've seen, is just whipped cream and maybe some berries. Is that right, Em? Mm -hmm. But you could also do ice cream. Uh, you could do whipped cream and drop some... Uh, chocolate sprinkles on it, rainbow sprinkles. The world is your oyster. You can do whatever the heck you want to do, right? So we got a little apple pie filling. We're gonna mix it up. And we have pumpkin filling that I added about 10 drops of orange 
uh, mixed with, this is mixed with whipped cream too. So it's just canned pumpkin mixed with whipped cream and then like 10 drops of orange food coloring. And then we have- this, And pumpkin spice seasoning. Oh, and pumpkin spice seasoning, thanks Em. And then we have just regular whipped cream. And then we have uh, lemon pie filling. And you can buy that in a can too. And then I also made, and Em didn't get this one out, but that's okay. Gotta find it, where'd it go? Where'd it go, Em? I don't know, I grabbed oh, everything. Here it is. Oh. Also, oh, I thought that was just regular Cool Whip. Never chocolate. mind. Chocolate. Yeah, I didn't tell because it was just in the we container. Did chocolate Cool Whip. So that too. Anyway, so we'll show you how it's done here. We'll just do a regular one first. Sound good, huh? Yep. And I think I'm just gonna cut about that much off. I mean, we don't need a little. Do uh, you think we should use a tip? No. No. Okay. These pastry bags are awesome. You can also use a Ziploc. Ziplocs work just as good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we'll take our first guy here and we'll just we'll just fill that guy up. Right? Mm -hmm. Just like that. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy. And we'll just throw it down there. And then if you have a little, uh, what was this called? A pizzelle. Pizzelle. So I don't know, I mean, you could do little design. That's where a tip would come in handy, right? Mm -hmm. You could do little designs and then maybe take little chocolate chips or chocolate sprinkles or something like that. Kind of a pretty little dessert. And like I said, with a tip, you could really make a cool design out of that, you know? Uh, and then we got uh, the, a cannoli kind of, just a, a same thickness. And so we could just do the same thing with that, right? Mm -hmm. Now you could also, well, there you go. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty neat, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty easy. Okay, so, ooh, we got a bowl too. So let's try this out. Let's do, let's do a little bit of, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of whipped cream in the bottom of this one, right? So just a little squeeze. I don't know if you can see, it's just a little bit in there. And then we'll take, okay, hold on. Then we'll take, I'm gonna have to go this one back a little bit. I think. And it's probably gonna come out faster, so just be careful. You think this will come out faster? Yeah, it's more liquidy. It is kind of liquidy, isn't it? Aaron, would you come over to where M is and hold something for me? So then we'll take a little apple pie filling, right? We'll put that in there and then we'll top it off with a little more whipped cream. And then you got like a little apple pie cream uh, caca. And Em and I talked about, and I don't know why we didn't remember to do this, but I was gonna cook down some bacon and we were gonna put bacon bits in mm. the apple one for sure, you know? That would have been kind of a nice, so you could do little bacon bits on the tops too. We were gonna right? make it a Cool Whip with maple syrup in it, so it'd be like make maple whipped cream with bacon. Yeah, it would have been good. Mm -hmm. This was rather involved, especially for our first time. We struggled trying to get the right heat and, and everything, but we ended up, I think, I wouldn't say mastering it, but we did figure out how to do it, right? Mm -hmm. You'd feel pretty comfortable doing it again, Em? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Okay, so then we'll take the pumpkin one and we'll do a pumpkin one, right? So just that easy. We'll just fill that sucker up. Look at that. Doesn't that look, would you just look at that? That looks delicious. <laughs> okay, and then we'll do a lemon one. Since we got all this out, we might as well show you all all the different kinds we're doing, right? Mm. And see, the different doneness is just learning the stove and how hot to keep your iron. So then there's a lemon one, right? Oh man, you know that's gonna be too good. 
We could just do a little dollop of that on top. It's like a little lemon pie. Oh, that'll be fantastic. The next thing we need to come up with is some kind of a rack. You know what would work is they sell for grilling and barbecues, those jalapeno racks, and these would set right down in them beautifully. I think they probably sell something for, what are those pops you used to make? Uh, cake pops. Oh, Don't yeah. They sell like a box with holes in it. That's all you'd need to do is a box with holes or there's a number of ways to do it to keep them standing up. So you could put a cherry on top, you could put a blackberry on top, any fruit. You could do mixtures inside. You could do like a chocolate chip cookie mix and put it inside. It'd be delicious, right? So there you go, that was that was it. We just wanted to have fun making them in even though it was a little stressful. Yeah. Yeah, it was difficult for the first time, but I think we got it figured out. These would make an awesome, uh, dessert at your Christmas party this year or a holiday party or or just for your Christmas alone you know just Christmas dinner dessert it's just a neat way to gather around the kitchen once again to figure out something else to cook and be become more uh, more uh, in tune as a family <laughs> now, that's a big thing to us so there you go I hope you enjoyed the video uh, Kroom Kaka. Am I saying that right? I, I hope think I'm so. That right. I've heard it said like that. If it's a crumb cake, I'm going to look like an ass. I think I've already done that in my life. <laughs> I already look like an ass. I got the certificate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, big thanks to Em and Aaron for helping me out with this. Or uh, Em did half the work, if not more. So it makes for a, it definitely makes for, we probably spent five hours screwing around with it. So it's not, uh, it's not something you're just going to throw together real quick and you're done, done, you know. So it's definitely a sit around and if you, maybe even in the evenings, you know, have a glass of wine or a, a cocktail or something and burn your fingers to death. I only got one burn and it's already blistering, but that's not too bad considering. So, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you all have a wonderful Sunday. And as always, an even better tomorrow. Squatch out.